Hello. Today we're going to be upgrading the firmware on an R36 router. The first step is we need to go to the rockland.com website to download the most recent firmware for our product. On the Rockland website, click the support link. And on the support page, let's go ahead and scroll down here and you'll see we have three different versions of the firmware. This first one here supports the AWUS036NH, the NHR, and the TubeUN. This second version supports the AWUS036H and the TubeUG. And this third version supports just the AWUS036NHV firmware. Today we're going to upgrade to this NHV one. It's the same process no matter which one you upgrade. What you'll do is click on the link to download the file. The file in most browsers will usually save to your downloads folder. If you're prompted for a location to save the file, simply save it to your desktop or your downloads folder. Now we'll need to go ahead and disconnect from the internet. We'll turn the Wi-Fi off and connect an Ethernet cable between your computer and the LAN port on the R36 router. The LAN port is the one closest to the power connector. It is important to do a firmware update only over Ethernet cable and not over Wi-Fi because if you're updating the firmware over Wi-Fi and the connection drops, you can brick your device. Once the R36 is connected to your computer with Ethernet cable, Open a new web browser and go to 192.168.2.1, which is your R36's master login IP address. When prompted, enter your username and password for the R36. The default is admin for the username and admin for the password. On the main R36 setup screen, click the put your mouse over the advanced tab and select management. On the management page, click the choose file button. Now navigate to where you downloaded the R36 firmware file. Select it and click open. Verify that the firmware file name is to the right of the choose file button and click the upload button. The firmware update process can take anywhere from 30 seconds up to 3 minutes depending on the speed of your computer's internet connection and the processor and memory on your computer. Do not exit out of this screen or turn your computer off. If it seems like this screen is hanging for longer than usual, allow it to stay on this screen for as long as 15 to 20 minutes if necessary just to avoid the possibility of doing any damage to your R36 unit. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to shorten the time wait here by editing it down so it will seem faster in this video than on your computer. Depending on what web browser you're using, some computers will just reboot back to the status screen. I've deliberately chosen to do this in Chrome, where instead of having it go back to the status screen, what you end up with after a while is this white web page here. When you see this white web page here, give it about 30 seconds, and then put your cursor in the navigation bar, and just hit the Enter key, which will refresh this screen. Now you're going to see the upgrade successful reboot message. As I said, you will not encounter this on every web browser, but if you're using Google Chrome and possibly some other systems, you may see that white screen, and it will stay on the white screen until you put your cursor in the browser and hit the Enter key, as I just did. Now we'll wait for the rebooting bar to get to 100%. During this time, you may get a snack, you may watch some television, or you could just sit here and look at this fascinating screen. I've chosen to sit here and look at this fascinating screen. Once the reboot has completed, you'll be taken back 
to the main Alpha R36 setup screen. To verify the firmware update was successful, check in the bottom left hand corner for the version number. This would match the version number on our website that you downloaded. In this case, I updated this to the AWUS 036 NHV firmware, which was V3.0.1. And this is now the correct firmware version on this router. So I have successfully completed the firmware update.